Arise, Queens. This is the All Queens Army, where women are provided with the tools you need to overcome your fears, face your flaws, and experience breakthroughs as you develop self-esteem so strong you emanate royalty. Now, for your host and commander of the All Queens Army, Breezy Time. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the All Queens Army podcast. This is your girl, your host, Breezy Time. I am here today with another dope episode for the queens in the queendom. And as always, I'm so excited to have a conversation with you guys. And yes, while it is just me talking and you're listening right now, it is a conversation, honey, because the queens be getting at me and letting me know what they feel and giving tons of feedback. And for that, I am so, so, so grateful. So thank you, queens. Please continue to have a conversation with me. Now, for you who don't follow me on Instagram, baby that's where the conversations take place okay at all queens army so we're having conversations and as a matter of fact today's episode is inspired by a conversation that i had with the queens on my ig live on saturday so if you're not following me on instagram at all queens army please make sure you follow because we have great conversations on the instagram page where we're talking about a lot of the different things that i talk about on the podcast episodes so because today is monday it is monday so you guys know what that means it is hashtag Motivation Monday. And on Motivation Monday, the episode is from the Motivate Her segment. And it is me motivating the shit out of you, talking to you about something that's going to help you evolve as a woman, that's going to help you prevent yourself from lowering your energy level when you're dealing with people who aren't on the same level as we are yet. But at any rate, so today we're going to be talking about people's opinions. All right. Now, we all know that everyone has an opinion, and that's fine. I have an opinion. You guys have an opinion. Hell, most of the time I'm talking about my opinion on this podcast. And I want to talk about something that happened on Facebook. And what I did was I went over to IG Live because that's where most of the conversations happen in the All Queens Army. Most of them happen on Instagram. And I went to Instagram and I went live to discuss some comments that another young lady made on the Facebook page about one of the episode topics and what I was talking about. I think what my angle and my goal was, was to motivate people and let people know specifically queens let queens know not to get too too involved and too invested and lower your energy to meet other people where they are when they're being critical of you so there are some people who when they give us constructive criticism that we should take what they're saying into account because they're saying it from love they're saying it from knowing who we are they're saying it from some sort of a relationship that you have with that person and or you've asked them for their opinion right because you trust that person but then you have and this is like this new age thing on Instagram on social media at large where there's so many people who see a snippet of your life or hear a snippet of an audio or see a snippet of a video and they have so much to say about it I mean they're very very critical and sometimes even damn near judgmental and what that does is the person who they're criticizing and the person who they're judging sometimes you and I what happens with that is we wind up getting into a verbal altercation, a verbal back and forth, and really allowing what the people are saying to infiltrate into our energy and into our feelings. And so I went live after reading the young lady's comments because I wanted to encourage the queens to inspire the queens because it was just happening to me. And I had to practice what I preach in that moment, which was rise above, don't sink to other people's level, don't respond out of anger, don't respond out of frustration, like don't even allow someone's negativity to pull you down to their level. You stay at your level. And that's what I had to do in that moment is not respond to this young lady the way I would have responded six or seven years ago, honey. I would have read the queen to filth, honey. But I don't do that anymore. Uh, Well, let me be honest. Is there still that part of me in me? Absolutely. I honestly think if I'm being 100% honest with you queens, I honestly think that there is still a button within me that someone could push and could really take me to a place place where I probably would respond like my old self and read the chick to fill. I really do think that that person is still there because I'm not perfect. I'm still a work in progress. We all are. So I think that that's still there, especially, you know, if someone does something to the people that I call in my circle, I definitely think that that button could still be pushed. But at large, right on a bigger scale, especially for strangers and people that I don't know on social media, I'm not getting that upset about your opinion, ma'am. Like I don't even know you. I've never met you. You don't know 
know me. Like your your opinion really has no value to me. So here's what I think about people's opinions and criticisms. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background on what this young lady was talking about in the comment that she made. And just so you guys aren't completely in the dark. So remember, I always tell a story. So this one's going to be a little teeny half story. Basically, she commented on episode one, which is so funny because this is actually episode 17. But she commented on episode one. So that means she had to kind of scroll back about two months ago to find this particular episode. And on that episode, as we all know, as I've said a thousand times, I'm actually tired of hearing myself say it. That episode was about me and my son's dad's girlfriend, his new or his new girlfriend, and us trying to co-parent and work through the new relationship that they had and, and the breakup between me and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Anyway, y'all heard that a thousand times. So essentially she said she listened to the episode and she came on and said that I was absolutely ridiculous, that I should have just moved on. And that's why God told us not to have babies before we're married. And there's really not supposed to be a such thing as baby mamas and baby dad is like girl we know go sit down but anyway so that's how she came off and she came off very judgmental and she came off very critical and she actually even called me stupid so I did respond back to her because I created the all queens army platform as a place for women to be able to grow and not just grow individually but for us to grow together you know for us to have a platform where we can actually talk we can feed off of each other and we can help each other it's like I am my sister's keepers one of the queens said that when I went live I am my sister's keeper. I should be able to help her. I should be able to help her elevate. I should be able to talk about the things that I've gone through. Maybe it'll help another queen who may be in the midst of that storm today. Because think about some of the storms that you've gone through. Think about some of the things that you've had to overcome in your life. And and think about some of those things where you didn't have really anybody to talk to or no one really understood how you felt because maybe none of the women around you had ever experienced what you experienced, right? So wouldn't it have been so awesome and so amazing to have a group of women that you could talk to or a podcast that you could listen to or a platform where women were talking about those types of issues and they were explaining what they did and how they got through it and some of the feelings that they had while they were in it so that you don't feel alone and you don't feel like you're crazy because you're going through what you're going through or you have some of the emotions that you have like wouldn't that have been awesome like wouldn't you have been able to work through some of your problems a lot better easier, faster. So that's the whole point of the All Queens Army. So because I didn't want to give her the same energy she was giving me, I responded in a way that just said, not every woman processes their pain or the decisions that they probably would have made a different decision had they known better, because I don't believe in regret. But not every woman processes it perfectly. Meaning when a relationship ends, we all know common sense says that you get your shit together and you move on. But when you're in it, right, if you're being real and if you're being honest, when you're in it, it's not that simple because feelings are involved. Emotions are involved. Money sometimes is involved. Children are involved. And no, we're not supposed to have children if you believe in the Bible and all of that good stuff. It does say that we aren't supposed to have children outside of marriage. We get it, girl. We all know what the Bible says. We all know what the rules are. We know. But it's 2018. And even back then, it was 2002. I mean, let's be honest honest, honey, most people were having children out of wedlock. And then not just having children out of wedlock, but there's a ton of people, a ton who had children in wedlock. And now they're divorced and dealing with the same situation. So you can't really pass judgment on someone who's in a situation where they're co-parenting with another woman or their baby daddy or their ex-husband. Because at the end of the day, you're still freaking co-parenting. So anyway, I just gave her something back that said, you know, not all women process it the same, but it does doesn't mean that the woman is stupid or she's this or she's that. It just means that maybe she's different from you. So here's where I want to go and the point of this episode, right? Because I feel like I'm not getting to the point fast enough, queens. So here's the point of the episode. What I wanted to say to the queens and why I went live on Saturday is because this young lady was extremely judgmental and extremely opinionated, critiquing who I was and who I am and my character. And she don't know me from a goddamn can of paint. I ain't never met this girl. I don't know this girl. But she listened to one episode of a 60-minute conversation between me and another woman 
woman that was actually very positive and she found something negative to criticize about that. And not only did she feel negative and critical, her emotion and her energy of negativity was so strong that it led her to actually comment about it. Because there's a difference. Sometimes you can feel things or you can observe things, but it's not strong enough for you to open your mouth. Like you don't care that much to open your mouth and address it. But once you get to the point where you care enough to open up your mouth and address it, or you care enough to take your time to type a response and baby, her response wasn't a little response. It was about two paragraphs. That shows that there's some emotion tied into what the podcast episode triggered in her was strong. The emotion that she had tied into my my conversation or my explanation about what I had gone through hit her in a very emotional place. And that's the point that I wanted to get to is a lot of times, Queens, when people are expressing their opinions and their opinions go into a negative space, meaning their opinion is judgmental, their opinion is critical, their opinion is mean, you know, name calling, putting you down, things like that. Really what's happening is that person is exposing their own insecurities. Securities. That person is exposing their own shortcomings. That person is exposing their deepest fears and their potential failures. That's what they're talking about because there's no way and no reason that a person's situation who isn't you, right? So think about this young lady that we're talking about. She doesn't know me. I'm pretty sure she doesn't know my son's dad. I'm pretty sure she didn't know the other young lady that I was talking to on the episode. But for whatever reason, she felt very strong, a very strong emotion. Now think about that. Why would someone feel such a strong emotion or have such a strong opinion or use such strong words like stupid and ridiculous and all of those types of things if there's not something emotionally triggered within you? So a lot of times what people are doing is they're projecting their shit onto you, especially, and it's easy to identify, right? Because a lot of people will say, oh no, I'm not projecting. It's just how I feel. It's just my opinion. Well, let's be clear. You wouldn't have an opinion that strong. I mean, we all have opinions, right? So I'm separating the two. There's opinions and then there's opinions that are that strong that they cause you to open your mouth and say something. Now, let me say something about that. When your opinions are that strong that they cause you to open your mouth and say something, you then start to expose your shit. You start to then expose your shit. As soon as you start talking about it, now you're really talking about yourself. It's impossible for you to be talking about the other person because most of the time you don't even know them. You don't know anything about the situation. It's just that something that they said in that moment, in that clip, in the video, in the article, whatever it is, it triggered you. It triggers the other person, right? So that was what I was talking to the Queens about on live is that is exactly why you can't allow people's opinions and their judgments and their criticism to pull you down to their space. Because really all they're doing is projecting their insecurities, their fears, their shortcomings, their failures one to you. It's not even about you. If something doesn't apply to you, usually you don't even respond. It doesn't even resonate with you. The only things that people have something to say, positive or negative, is when it resonates with them. You don't comment on the things that don't resonate with you. You don't comment on the things that don't tie into your character or any emotion or any energy that you have. So the only time that people care to respond or even feel anything, like think about how much information we scroll past on social media every day and think about how many observations we make in general talking to people at work in general right general conversations all day interactions with people all day in real physical life and on social media and think of how many times we observe things and then focus on the things that some people choose to respond to. And the things that people choose to respond to, it resonates with them. Because you ain't responding to everything. So you don't care about the things that you're not responding to. You can't relate to the things that you're not responding to. But it's something about the things that you do respond to that you can relate to. And that works in, in a positive and negative energy situation, right? Because I've attracted certain types of queens to the Instagram page in the All Queens Army. Me, and those queens resonate with my energy. Our energy matches. They feel what I'm saying. I feel what they're saying. I look at their posts and I agree and I, I big 
them up and say, go girl, yes, queen, yes, sister, do your thing. And they do the same for me because something about what I posted, what I said, my energy, my video resonates with them, with their positive energy. And then there's other people where something that you say resonates with their negative energy. And that's where the criticism comes in. And that's where the judgment comes in. Y'all ever heard the saying, I know y'all have, a hit dog will holler, honey. Yes, he will. And I want to explain that because I said it to my son a little while ago, a hit dog will holler, you know, so he didn't understand. Let me be clear because I don't know if everyone that's listening is whatever age or of whatever generation. So I don't want to take it for granted. So a hit dog will holler means that if something that was said or done did not hit you, you would not say anything. So a lot of times because we post things on social media, because so many of us share our lives and not intimately, but we share different things about our lives. We share our accomplishments. We share our thoughts. We share motivation. We share when we're frustrated. We share comedy and things that make us laugh and entertain. We share what's going on like with our families, if our children succeeded at something, if our moms are sick. And we share these things, general type of things on social media all day long. And what I'm saying about a hit dog is people only respond when they feel hit by what you said. And most of the time, you're not even talking about them or to them. But if you post something about growth, or if you post something about co-parenting, or you post something about divorce, or you post something about independent women, because we've had that conversation too. If you post something like that, and someone looks at it, and they see something negative, and they comment, that says that something about that message hit you. So you hollering, you hollering, honey, you making noise about it. Because if it didn't have anything to do with you, you would scroll right past. It wouldn't even resonate. So that's what a hit dog will holler means. What I think is happening is people feel like some sort of guilt or some sort of emotion. In other words, if nobody knows what's going on inside of you, because it's happening deep down inside, like fears and insecurities and shortcomings and failures aren't usually the things that people talk about a lot. Those things aren't usually the things that people post all the time. They post all the good stuff. They post what they want you to think. They post how they want you to perceive their lives, but they're not really posting the deep down, dark fears, insecurities, shortcomings, failures. Failures. A lot of times people don't even acknowledge those things themselves. So sometimes they're not even really aware of those emotions and those feelings. Um, and I'm talking about the negative ones. So what happens is when you have that shit deep down packed in your spirit because you're not willing to address them because you're too busy playing like you feel good about where you are and what you do and who you've become. But really and truthfully deep down inside, there's some insecurities there. Now, listen, I'm not shading anybody because we all have those. Every single one of us, me too. Everyone is living with that stuff deep down inside. That's what life is about. Life is about peeling back the layers of who we are one layer at a time so we can get to the shit so that we can work on it so we can fix it so it doesn't continue to control our lives. But when people are still unaware of those deep, dark, yucky emotions and feelings, what happens is when someone says something that resonates or triggers, they feel exposed. They feel naked. They almost feel like you can see what they're trying to hide. And what happens is the response that they give you is defensive. Because think about it, you're defending some shit that don't have nothing to do with you. I posted it about my life. I posted it about my journey. This was my journey. Why does my journey bother a complete stranger? You know why? Because something about what I expressed in my journey is hitting one of your insecurities or shortcomings or fears or failures. And you haven't addressed those things within yourself yet. So what you do, do y'all know what projecting means? It means that instead of you owning that those are your feelings so that you can work through them, you push them off on someone else and you make it someone else. It's a trans transference of energy because remember energy cannot be destroyed so that energy that you feel I mean who the hell wants to feel the energy so it's easier to try to dump the energy off on someone else and that's why people project and so you guys will see me post so often on Instagram where I say protect your energy I say it all the time and that's what I mean because there's a lot of hurt and broken people I used to be one of them there's a lot of hurt and broken people who instead of working on their own shit they want to take the negative energy that's coming from their shit like 
all of the crap that you have that you're not dealing with and you're not working through because you're not acknowledging it, it creates a negative energy that you're vibrating. And so what happens is no one likes the negative energy. You don't like it. So every chance you get to project that energy to someone else, when someone else says or does something that resonates with that negative energy because you feel exposed, because you don't like how it sounds, it's triggering you and then you project it to someone else and that's where the criticism comes in and that's where the critiquing comes in and so my whole point in going live and talking to the queens about that situation was for me to say to the queens queens you have to remember that these people are projecting onto you whatever people are talking about when they're criticizing you and they're judging you it's not even about you Because they don't know you well enough. And even for the people who may know you well enough to have an opinion like that, a lot of times, y'all, it's them that they're talking about. So, you know, that's what people are doing. They're exposing their own shit. So instead of us getting into an arguing match or getting into a conversation with them where we're trying to defend who we are or we're trying to defend our perspective, you have to step back and know it's not even about you. So here's three things. Y'all know I'm always going to give you three things. Here's three things that you can do when someone is being critical or someone's being judgmental in their opinion about something you did or whatever the case may be. Here's how you can prevent them from transferring their negative energy onto you or from making you feel insecure, making you feel bad or making you feel judged. Like here's how you can literally rise above what people say and not even let it impact you. I'm gonna give you three ways. One, like I said, you have to realize and be cognizant of the fact that they're spewing their shit onto you. Once you understand that what they're saying isn't about you and it's about them, you don't even have to own it. You can just make the decision that, oh, you know what you're talking about yourself, right? You can look at it from that perspective. Oh, okay, sis, that's how you feel. Oh, okay. You know, so once you do that, and you acknowledge that it's not even about you, your emotions behind it change. Like you're not taking it personal. It's not a personal attack to you anymore because you realize that it's more so about them. So remember on Instagram, I talk a lot about compassion and that's where compassion comes in. Compassion comes in where you look at the other person and instead of me reading you for filth, honey, because I know all my queens out there can read a chick for filth, honey. I know y'all can, I know. (laughs) So instead of reading a girl for filth and making her feel stupid and going back and forth with her and putting her in her place and checking the bitch because that's what we say instead of us doing that you respond with compassion or you don't respond at all there's another option you just don't respond water off a duck's back you let it roll off your back because you realize that it's not about you so that's the first thing you can do the second thing you can do is you rise above the negative energy and that's a little bit more difficult it took me a couple years to realize how to rise above negative energy but here's what I do I know that someone is in a place of negative energy and they're speaking to me from negative energy and they're trying to transition their negative energy onto me when I start to feel anxious or nervous or frustrated. Like anytime I have any sort of negative emotion towards the person or towards talking to them or towards addressing something with them. Like anytime I feel something like that, I automatically know that this person is vibrating an energy that I don't want. So rising above that energy for me, what that means is I have to recognize that I'm feeling this energy One, and two, I have to make a decision that I'm not going to allow this person's energy to infiltrate me. So what I do, I smile, and this is actually gonna be a part of the third thing too. So this is two and three. This is thing you can do two and three. I smile, I nod, I say, okay, sis. And then I send them positive energy or a prayer. I send out positive vibes to the person. I don't say it out loud. I close my eyes, I say it to myself, and I just send them some positive energy. And you can do that with your thoughts. I just think this thought to remove any negative energies, any fears, and any insecurities within this young lady and infiltrate her with positive energy and love. And I just think it. It literally takes 10 seconds and I open my eyes. And at that point, I don't care. (laughs) Just, I don't care. It's not my problem. It's not my issue. I've sent some positive energy to the person and that's it. Fortunately and unfortunately, the things that you can do to prevent yourself from getting sucked into those types of conversations, they're very simple, but not easy to prevent yourself from being sucked into that kind of energy, but it is really simple. 
again, one of the things you can do is just not respond at all. The second thing is just a realization that what they're saying isn't even about you. And you can just scroll past. You can just shrug your shoulders. You can just (laughs) say, okay, whatever. The third thing is, again, smile, say, okay, sis, and keep it moving. Send them some positive energy through your thoughts and let it go. But if you notice, all of the things that I'm suggesting that you do are pretty much all the same. Basically is don't respond and don't feed in. Don't feed into it. Don't allow people to trigger you because they've been triggered. Now they're trying to trigger you. You see how they're trying to transfer the energy? So don't let people do it. Don't feed the bait because that's basically what's happening is you're allowing them to bait you in. Don't let people bait you in. So that's all I have for today, Queens. I hope that you got something from this conversation. The live that I had is actually not up anymore because, you know, I think the lives only stay up on Instagram for 24 hours. I may post it to the website. I'm not sure. But anyway, Queens, I love you, Queens, so much. I hope you have an amazing Monday. I hope that you feel motivated. I also hope and I pray and I send you, Queens, tons of positive energy for you to learn how to not let anyone pull you into their storm, to pull you into their insecurities, their fears, and their shortcomings. Listen, Queens, you have enough of your own shit to work on by yourself. You definitely don't need other people dumping their crap on you because they're not ready to focus on or to deal with their own things and their own shit, okay? So have a happy, happy Monday. I love you, Queens, so, so, so much. Again, if you do not follow me on Instagram, you can follow us at All Queens Army. We have so many wonderful conversations in the Army. We are very, very supportive. We love each other so much and we want you to be a part of that if you're not. So make sure you find us, hit that follow button and I'm sending you tons and tons of love. I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank you for listening to the All Queens Army podcast. If you want to connect with Breezy Time and the All Queens Army, be sure to follow them on IG and Facebook at All Queens Army. Or head over and check out the All Queens Army YouTube channel. Until next time.